everyone, so before we start this video, I just want to let you know, go, um, go to my giveaway, it's going to be in the description, you'll learn how to enter if you watch the video. The giveaway, if we don't hit 50 or 100 subscribers soon, the giveaway will expire. I will end the giveaway if we don't hit the sub goal soon. I'm not forcing you to sub, you don't have to, but if you want to try to win something, go sub. I hope you enjoy this video. Also, go subscribe to Magic Bus. He gave me this video idea. He's a very good YouTuber. Uh, yeah. Let's start this video. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks in my restaurant. So, uh, the, there's one big tip that you want to do. Now, as I said at the beginning, Go subscribe to Magic Bus because these are all his tips. I tried it and it works very, very well. So I'm just trying to spread the news, spread the news of the, uh, like, thing of the really good way to set up your restaurant. And my restaurant's a bit different since the last time you saw me. Uh, so my restaurant, here we are. We're going in. Big games, obviously. So, cleaning stoves, let's just skip that so we can get the video done faster. I, well, I want to get the video done faster because I don't want you guys to watch it for so long. I'm not lazy, I just don't want you guys to have to watch the video for so long. Or you can just click off the video, that's totally fine. But if you want to learn how to make a very good restaurant, watch this video. So, as you can see, it looks different. Now, there is a way to get out of here. All you have to do is, like, jump a few times, and you will eventually make it out. Eventually. Not immediately, but you will eventually make it out. Uh, so, I hope I can make it out. Okay, you know what? I'm going to delete these two chairs for now. Uh, they're not coming back, so I have some space to actually exit. But, as you can see, I have red booths and tiki tables. So, what I have here is, oh, a celebrity! Yes, that's my first celebrity! Okay, well, I got that on camera, so. So, as you can see, all these customers just walk right through the tables and chairs. So, basically, what you want to do, you want to align your uh, restaurant with just this layout. Now, it's completely fine. You can do, like, a table uh, just like a modern table or a normal table with four chairs surrounding it. That's completely fine. It doesn't matter what order you do it, but that's an option. Now, I set it up like this because this will get you more customers, I personally think. Because each of these, this is a double table, basically. So it has uh, parties of four. And these tables are really, really cheap. Uh, I, they're only like, I think, $200. They're really cheap. But as you can see, customers are flooding in really fast. And I also have these set up on the next two floors. Oh, great. My space button is sticky. I don't know why, but I'll have to fix that. But so we're here on floor two, and we have this. So it's all set up like this. I just did a little bit different thing here. Uh, we can close that out. Uh, but now I'll teleport to floor 3, and I also have this up here. Now, another efficient thing to do is put gumball machines all the way around the way out. So, like, right here, I just fill this up with gumball machines. And as you can see, I'm actually going to uh, teleport to the shop and buy some gumball machines. Because I do want to do this for a video and show you guys, like, how it works and stuff. Let's get those customers. Let's go to the shop. Oh, wow. This person's going really fast. He's growing really quick. I think yesterday he was at 900,000, and now he's at 1,128,000. That's really fast. But we don't need to talk about that right now. Uh, let's see this. Uh, so, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. So, these cost, like, 200. Yep. 200, and then... Another reason why we use these is because they're very, very cheap. They're extremely cheap, and they're very affordable, even for noobs. So, yeah, that's really good. Uh, 
I can probably sell all this red carpet. I'll do this very quick. But there we go, 42 cash. Not a lot, but it's still cash. Oh, let's grab some gumball machines. This, I do want to start buying. You will also want to get these because celebrity customers buy expensive stuff. A lot of expensive stuff. So you want to get these to increase your chances of a celebrity customer. As you saw, I just got a celebrity customer. And he's probably going to give me quite a lot of money. It still says I have zero, but that's because he hasn't walked out of my restaurant yet. So, let's get these gumball machines. And the more... Oh, oops. And the more gumball machines you have, actually, the more chances someone will buy them. So you can have one and have like one person buy them, but you can have like five and have a lot more people buy them because there's more. So uh, we're at the restaurant, and now let's just find a, uh, a nice place we can put these. I'm gonna go up to the third place, uh, third floor because that. Uh, sorry, let me turn on the volume, guys. Let's go up to the third floor because I know where I want to put it up there. Sorry, it's laggy. I don't know why. I think it's laggy because they have so many customers in here. But let's open. Is it appliances? Yes, it is. But like, let's just rotate that. And as you can see. We can just set these up along the sides. Just like that. So, on the way out, people could buy these. You never know, but it'll always make you some more money. Um, also, another thing you want to do, you want to make sure you have the highest equipment you can have. This will make everything go a lot faster, too. Uh, as you can see, I only have one order stand, but you really should have more than one order stand. Because this way, cooks can, like, make stuff faster because they can take multiple orders at once. And you also want to have multiple kitchens. As of right now, I only have two. But I would put, uh, I would put one, uh, one kitchen every two floors, I, I think. So, yeah. I have two kitchens and I have three floors, so like two kitchens for every three floors, and that will make you go pretty fast. So at the max, if you have max floors, you should probably have three, uh, six kitchens. That would be pretty efficient if you had six kitchens. So you want to have more order stands, so more of your, uh, like staff can take orders at once uh we should buy some more of these staff because i do need to get more waiters and cooks because now i'm having a lot more people enter my restaurant so also you want to make sure you have as many staff members as you can get because staff members are very important uh you want to like have a lot of staff members oh one of my guys is level 50 that's really good I don't know what the levels do, but also what you can do is you can set up an auto clicker and like just uh, click overnight. And overnight, you should make like over a million dollars with this method, including using multiple floors. So, and as you can see, I also have one gumball machine right there. Uh, yeah, that's basically it for the tips and tricks. So, as I was saying about the auto clicker, you should just have it clicking, like, just in the sky or something, like, right over there. That would be pretty efficient. Just make sure it's not clicking anything that will interfere with anything, because that would be bad. And that could, like, mess up your game and you won't be getting money. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Peace out. Okay, that was a long outro. Peace out, everybody.